Hi students, welcome to the second part of the chapter logarithm. Yes, we discussed few sums and few roots in the first part. The link is there in the description box. Okay, this is second part. Here we will discuss more formula, more sums. Okay, so let's start. So in this video, the formula which I am going to tell you now, this formulas are very important. Try to understand. Say I am giving you log log say log to the base a. Okay, the base is a m into n okay log log of log of m into n to the base a then what is the formula of it the formula of it is log of m to the base a plus log of m to the base a understood this is the formula okay so log of m into 1 to the base a is log of m to the base a into sorry plus log of m to the base a understood next formula Say log of m by n. Okay, m by n. This is division. Here it was multiplication. This is division. So to the base a equal to log of m to the base a minus log of m to the base a. Okay. So when this multiplication it will be added, when this division it will be subtracted. Okay. So two formulas are there. You have to learn those formulas. You have to apply those formula in the critical sums we will discuss those sums ok the next technique is the next formula is say the next formula is say I am giving you log a m ok this one now here we can say we can write it like this log of m by log of a ok a was base here a was base here but here is a is not the base ok Base I have not written. Okay, so base anything you can write as base. Okay, that's not an issue. Any base you can write. Say I'm writing B B B B. But same base you have to write B B. Or you can write X X. Means bases will be same. So log A. This one say another example I write of this formula. See how say log of X Y like this. So what we can write log of y by log of x okay log of y by log of x what is the base base any base you can apply say i am i'm giving m m okay bases are m so these three formulas are there we have to use this formula to solve the sums let's start the sum all of you see this is the sum here we are going to use the formula whatever we have discussed now okay see how first of all this is log 10 a plus log 10 25 okay plus this two will go there we know that we discussed in part one okay longer than part one we already discussed this two will go there so two i can write here so it will be 3 by 9 so log of 9 to the base 10 minus log of 18 to the base 10 okay now see here for this one for this much we can use that multiplication formula where I show you that multiplication splits into addition. That formula I can use here. Log of 10, 8 into 25 into 9. Okay. Minus log of 10, okay, 18. Fine. Now log of, see, for this one, for this two, let us multiply it first. Log Log of 18 to 25, 18 to 25 is 200, 200 into 9, 1800. So 1800, log of 1800 to the base 10, minus log of 18 to the base 10. Now this is minus, this is minus, so division, yes, minus means division. So I can write log of 1800 by 18 to the base 10, okay. So by 18 you cut it 100. So it is log of 100 to the base 10. Okay. This 100 we can write 10 square, 10 square. So 2 will come here, 2 will come here. Here I am making the step jumping. So, but you have to show all these steps. You understood? I said 100, 100 means 100, 100 means 10 square. You have to write in the next step, but I am adding the same step. Okay, you don't make that step jumping. 
So instead of 100, I am writing 10 square. This square will come here. Okay. So it is. We know that when this and this are same. I told in the first part of logarithm when this and this are same. That this answer is 1. So 1 into 2. So the final answer is 2. Final answer of this question is 2. Understood? Next question. In this question, two values are given. Log x equal to n plus n. Log y equal to m minus n. This is given. And we have to find the value of this. We have to find log 10x by y squared. Okay. This one we have to find and this are given. Okay. So let write it. Now, log of 10x by y square use the division rule of logarithm. How good? What we can write? Log 10x minus log y square. And now, simply formula exists. Now, log 10x. Log 10x I can write log of 10 plus log of x. Okay. Minus. This 2 will come here. <coughs> so 2 log y. <coughs> Got it? Now, see, log 10, there is no base. When there is no base, then we call it common log. We know that we already discussed in the first part. As I told you, the first part, if you have missed the first part, link is there in the description box. You must see that video first. Okay. So, if there is no base in a log, then that log is called common log. And what is the base? Correct. The base is 10. So, let us write it here. So, the base is 10. And we know that when these two are same, when these two are same, the answer is 1. So, here you write 1 plus log x. Log x is n plus n. n plus n minus 2 log y. Log y is n minus n. n minus n. Okay, so 1 plus m plus m minus 2m plus 2m. Okay, so what is the answer? 1m minus 2m, that is minus m. m plus 2m plus 3 So this is the answer of this question. Okay, all of you see the next question. Here we have to find the value of x. Okay, this is the equation given and we have to find the value of x. Let's solve it. See here, first of all, 3, we'll remove this back, okay? We'll remove the brackets. <coughs> so, it will be 3 log of 5 minus 3 log of 3 minus log of 5 minus minus plus 2 log of log of 6 equal to 2 minus log of x, okay? See here, we know that this 3 will go there. So it will be log 5 q. This 3 will go there. This 3 will go there. So it will be 5 q. That is 125. 125. Correct? Minus this 3 will go there. This 3 will go there. So it will be log 27. Okay. Minus log 5. Plus this 2 will go there. So it will be log 36. Okay. But here see all this log, the base is not given. So what is the base? Yes, they are common log. So that's why the base is 10. So we can write 10 here. 10, 10, 10, 10. Now this 2. Instead of this 2, I can write 2 log of 10 to the other is 10. Because we know that when base and these are same. That answer is 1. So 1 into 2, that is 2. Okay. We have already discussed this in the first part of logarithm, right? So this is 10, 1. So 1 into 2, 2. Okay. So instead of 2, I am writing this. Okay. Minus log of x to the base 10. Got it? Now, see here. Uh, now, this plus this. Okay, this plus this. What I get? Log of 10, 125 into 36. Got it? Now from here, minus. Minus is common. Okay, I am taking minus common. So what is left? Log of 27 to the base 10 plus log of 5 to the base 10. Got it? 
equal to now this 2 is going there 2 is going there so it is 100 so log of 100 to the base 10 understood minus log of x to the base 10 ok now we have what we are getting log of 10 sorry log of multiplied by 36 ok let us keep it like this 125 to 36 not an issue ok give it like this minus this one log of plus again plus so 27 into 5 ok to the base 10 understood equal to log of this one log of 100 by x yes 100 by x got it uh, this is base 10 any doubt on this because this is minus so it will be 100 by x ok now here log of again this is minus thing log of 10 no, sorry log of this with base 10 log of this with base 10 but minus is there in case of minus things divides so it will be in division log of 125 into 36 by this division 27 into 5 the base is 10 so 5 25 uh, 9 4 sir, 9 3 sir. got it equal to log of 100 by x to the base 10 ok now log of log with base 10 log with base 10 just cancel them just cancel them ok so what do you get you will get this equal to this what is this 100 by 3 so 100 by 3 equal to 100 by x 100 by x now plus one you will get x equal to 3 this is the answer of this sum understood all of you see the next question in this question just we have to simplify and we have to get the answer see how <coughs> All of you see the next question. In this question, just we have to simplify and we have to get the answer. See how. First of all, 1 by log a log bc of the base a plus instead of 1, I will write log a a because we know that when these two are same, the answer is 1. Already we discussed in the first part. Okay. So when these two are same, this is 1. So log of a to the base a is 1. Why I am writing this? I am just making the basis same. Okay, basis A, basis A. I am just making the basis same. Okay, so same here we will be done here. 1 by log of CA to the base A plus log of B to the base B. Okay. Next, plus 1 by 1 by log of AB to the base C plus log of C to the base C. Then, now 1 by C. Here we we'll use that addition formula. Multiplication to addition or addition to multiplication. That formula we we'll use here. So the bases are same. So I can write log of A. Log of ABC to the base A. Okay. Log of ABC to the base A. Plus, just I will use that formula. Yeah, the first formula of this video. I have used here. 1 by log of again ABC. ABC, the basis B. Got it? Plus 1 by log of ABC by base. Okay. Now, as I told you, as I told you in the beginning of this video, I told you that say log of X to the base Y. I can write it. I can write it log of x by log of y okay log of x to the base y i can write like this okay the same formula will be applicable here see how 1 by i can write this log of abc by log of a okay base you can put anything you want but i'm not putting here the basis okay Base you can put anything in this formula, you can write anything this like m, m, m of the base. Okay, so you can write anything, but I'm not writing. Okay, plus this is 1 by log of abc by log of b plus 1 by log of abc by log of c. Got it? Now the things will get reciprocal. Things will get reciprocal for vertical. 
I'm making a step jump here. So it will be log log a. It will be log b, right? But you don't make this jump. Okay, you don't make this jump. You have to write it in the next part. Next line. Log b. Here it will be log c. Okay. Log c. Log c. Now what is the LCM? See, log ABC, log ABC, log ABC. So what is the LCM? Log A B C. So what will become log of A plus log of B plus log of C. Again, this is addition, so we can multiply. So it will be log A B C. So here it will be log A B C. Five. Log A B C. Log A B C. So this has cancelled. So answer is one. Okay. What is the answer? Let us move to our next question. See the next question. In this question, x r a square is given, b cube is given, and this condition is also given. We have to find the value of c. Okay. These three conditions are given, and we have to find the value of c. Okay. Let's start it. See first of all, a square by two. A square is log x. So log x by 2 minus p cube. P cube is log y. Log y by yes 3 equal to log c. In and out. Now LCM. What is the LCM? 6. 2 3 is a 6. So 3 log of x minus 3 to the 6. So 2 y of log of y equal to log c. And in doubt, fine. Now, we know that here again I am making a step jump. Okay, but you don't do that. You have to write in the next step. Okay. So, here first of all, let us cross multiply it. 6 into this. So, it will be 6 log c. Okay. 6 log c. Fine. So, this line will not be there. Now, 3 will go here. Okay. 3 will go here. And 2 will go here. We know that. We have discussed this in the first part of logarithm. This very okay. So this is now it's minus here. Minus in case of minus, the things get divided. We know that. So log of x cube by y cube equal to the 6 it will go there. So it will be 6. Okay. So log of c to the power 6. Alright. So log log cancelled from both the sides. Log log cancelled. So what is left? x cube by y cube equal to c to the power 6. Okay, so what is c? c is the sixth root of c to the power 6. That's why c equal to the sixth root of this x cube by y cube. This is the answer. This is the value of c. Okay, let us move to our next question. See the next question. In this question, what do you have to do? First of all, the value of p and q are given. Okay. The value of p and q are given and one more equation is given. See this equation. This equation is given. Okay. And we have to find the value of x. Right. So let us solve it. So this equation is given. So from here what I can write. So 2 will go there. We know that it will become power. So log of x plus 1 whole square. Okay. Equal to 2p. What is p? p is log 20. Log 20 plus q. I will not write x here. I will put this space. Q. What is q? Q is log 25. Log 25. Correct. This 2 will go there. There. Okay. So it is log of x plus 1 whole square equal to log of 20 square is what? 20 square is 400. So log of 400 plus log of 25 equal to log of x plus 1 4 square equal to this is addition so it will be log of 400 into 25 in and out okay now this and this log log cancel log log cancel so what is left x plus 1 4 square equal to 400 into 25, that is, yes, this one, okay, yes, this one. Now, we know that x plus 1 whole square, so x square plus 2x plus 1, this 
what you take this side minus equal to c okay so x square plus 2x this will be minus 9 9 9 9 uh, yes right, right. equal to c now you have to measure factor it and from that you have to calculate the value of x okay you have to calculate the value of x from this equations understood i know easily you can solve this Fine. So after solving this, you will get the value of x. Understood? So these are few sums of logarithm. Hope you understood. See you in the next chapter.